Lecture 30, preparing for the final. So in an attempt to address maybe some of the questions that you might have on the subject of uh, what would the final assessment look like and how is it going to work, here's uh, a little bit of information. So what does the exam cover? Well, it covers everything that we've done, lectures, assignments, labs, uh, all of those things, and the exam is cumulative, so it covers the entire course, uh, and that does include all of the labs. Uh, obviously, there were some topics that got questions in quizzes, and there were things that appeared in assignments, but everything that was in the course is fair game uh, as far as the final assessment or final exam is concerned. Uh, if you wanted some advice about how to prepare, uh, I mean, just in advance, I mean, you do want to review your notes, slides, videos, you know, make sure that you have a good understanding of all these kinds of things. Uh, you should also review your assignments uh, to make sure, of course, that you got them working. You know, if you just didn't get something working in time, it, this would be a good time to go back and revisit that and uh, fix it up. Same is true for the labs. Uh, you should, uh, if you didn't manage to get something working, you know, take a little time to go back and see if you can work out whatever was wrong uh, and see if you can get that uh, to be uh, solved. Uh, in particular, uh, also, uh, if you did your labs with a lab partner, uh, then uh, you should be careful not to just sort of rely trustingly on, uh, I'm sure whatever was in the other part is fine, that uh, you should look carefully and see uh, that you understand the parts that your lab partner contributed, um, because you know that might have hit on something that would potentially appear in an exam. So uh, you should be uh, comfortable with you know all aspects of the lab and not just the part that you personally wrote. Uh, there are some old exams uh, that are in uh, Learn. Obviously, the format for this one will be a little different because it's an online term, and those exams are, you know, written by hand in the pack, you know, two and a half hours kind of affairs. Uh, however, um, some of the uh, exam will look a little bit like that at least, so uh, they're still somewhat valuable as a resource. Uh, and finally, of course, while you're studying, uh, if you come across things, ask questions in Piazza uh, as you need. Uh, if you come across something that's unclear and you'd like to clarify it or something like that, um, Piazza is a great forum for that. So the exam is planned to have a window of 24 hours, so it will be released, uh, and you can start uh, whenever really you want within that uh, window, uh, but you have to submit it by the end of the window. Um, I'm going to um, post the exact date in Piazza uh, after I get some discussion with the other 2B instructors, uh, so that you know, for the most part we minimize the amount of conflicts. Uh, it will, of course, not take you 24 hours to actually complete it. That would be insane. Um, but uh, on the other hand, we don't want to have it so that you have multiple assessments all on the same day if, if we can avoid it. Uh, and uh, the uh, exact date and everything uh, information will also include an estimate for how long I think it should take to complete. Obviously, some people will be faster and some people will be slower, but you know, the figure I will quote is, you know, I expect the average student can complete it in this amount of time. Uh, and there will be two parts. There's a written part and a coding part, uh, and they'll be submitted in two separate Learn Dropboxes. Uh, the written part will ask you to submit a PDF, uh, and the uh, coding part will ask you to submit a zip file of the code that you have uh, you've done. In terms of you know, distribution of marks, I expect that about 30 to 40 percent will be written questions. The rest will be programming questions. This is, after all, primarily a programming course. Uh, and you may rest assured that many years of students you know, before you have wished that, you know, why can't we do this uh, exam using you know, a code editor, using a compiler? Uh, well, the problem with that, of course, has always been, well, you have to have a final exam, and you now it's handwritten in, in the pack. But now we have an online term, so your wish is granted, but maybe that's not a good thing. You know, maybe you, you think this is actually harder because expectations are higher because you will have you know, tools at hand to you know, check for memory leaks. You will have the ability for the compiler to tell you uh, this is correct or this doesn't work, and you will have the ability to actually test it out. 
But there will be a segment of written questions, and the written questions resemble previous offerings, final exam questions to some extent, uh, and your programming questions will resemble labs as well as assignments, uh, just so you are uh, familiar with those. Uh, and during the actual exam, there's no questions allowed. Uh, it is, you know, state an assumption. If you need an assumption, you just write it down in your uh, PDF or write a comment or something in your code as necessary. And that means no questions, neither by email nor by Piazza. Uh, if you attempt to post a question on Piazza, even a private question, I will answer it with something along the lines of, this falls under our no questions policy, and I therefore cannot answer it. Um, so, you know, you're just going to... Uh, just going to be disappointed with that kind of response, so don't expect that uh, uh, that asking a question will get you a different one. Uh, it is also noteworthy you are expected to do the exam completely independently. I want you to treat this like a final exam. That means you know it is your work and your work alone. You know you you are allowed to you know, consult resources. Um, so you are allowed to you know, like sort of look at uh, Google, you're allowed to look in the lecture notes, you're allowed to um, re-watch a section of a video or something like that, but it has to be your independent work. You can't you know, post on Stack Overflow and get the people there to answer it for you. You can't uh, consult with your friends, you can't ask a, a friend, a co-worker, a, a relative, anything like that. It does have to be your own independent work. Um, so yeah, treat it like a final exam. And there's just one more thought I would like to close with as we get to the end of the course. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. You are, at this point, halfway through your degree. Uh, it's not over yet. Um, you may have heard some stories, uh, you may have heard some rumors, you know, it's 2B or not to be, you know, this is the hardest term, or that was the hardest term, or 2A was the hardest term, and what have you. Um, I say whatever term is the hardest varies significantly from person to person. Uh, I think for some people it's it's 1A, for some people it's 2B, for some people it's 3A. Um, it's not over yet. Uh, and while you might be doing well, and you might be... Uh, Succeeding in the program at this point, it's not over yet, and there's still quite a lot of hard work between here and the finish, so it's only halfway. You've done well to get this far, but you are not a Jedi yet. Anyway, that will be all. I wish you all the best, and good luck on the final assessment.